Hello friends, in this video we will see ways to call store process using entity framework. In this video we will explain two methods by which you can call a store process using the entity framework. Now we can use the execute store query method exposed by data context object which accepts the name of the store procedure and it calls the store procedure in the database and fetches the records. The second method is to import the store procedure itself to the EDMX file and then after creating the function import we can use the function name to call the store procedure in the database. Now let's see through the application. Now we have a ASP.NET MVC3 application wherein we have a simple view where we have a simple button that is the submit button and on click of this button we are calling a controller method which in turn calls a service method which fetches the records from the database and in the initial setup we are using the entity framework itself to pick the data from the database and and the records are basically these three records these three users which are registered and when the records are fetched we are showing its first name and the last name of the, all the records fetched from the database now let's run the application and see how it works now I click the get user button now you can see the user list the three is the count for the user list and the three users first name and the last name is displayed on the UI now we are going to fetch this data using store procedure the same data so in that case we need to create I'm not, I want to uh, I need to create a store procedure so I say create procedure get user details as register is my table so our store procedure is created let's execute the store procedure and check whether it returns the details or not yes it's returning the data so now our store procedure is ready now we want we want to make some changes in the code let's stop the application so what I'm going to do I'm going to use execute store query method of data context which is exposed by the data context class and my result is of type register class my store procedure name is get user details and I want my result to be in list type list so let's run this and check whether it fetches the data from the database for us or not now I click the button again now again you can check the count is 3 and when I and you can see the first name and the last name this is how we can you, you can call store procedure using the execute store query method now let's move to the second way by which we can call the store procedure in that case we need to first import the store procedure to the EMX file so to do that we are going to first right click on the EDMX file then update model from database now a window opens I can I want to I want this show procedure to be imported so I click this and I click finish so now when you check the model browser under show procedure we will see one show procedure now for this we are going to create a function import so we say add function import and this is the function name which will be used in the code so I'm keeping it same get user details and I'm going to map this entities to be registered my res result type would be of type register so I'm selecting the register and my store procedure is the same get user details I'm clicking ok so I'm saving the EDMX file and now when you go to the code so instead of using execute store query I can directly call this method get user details and it accepts no parameter so I want it to be in list now let's run this application and see whether this method returns the data from the database or not I click the button again you can see the three records and, FI, and the three records are displayed on the UI 
so by this way you can call store procedure using the two ways and when you are going to fetch large amount of data large amount of record using the store procedure is a better way as entity framework doesn't perform well when there is a large, large chunk of data to be fetched from the database so this is how we can call store procedure from the entity framework thank you friends